Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Xenon on the Atari ST. Now I have reviewed this on a few different systems, um, including the Amiga. Um, well, I didn't really think much of it, to be honest with you. I just felt the graphics were a bit plain, but I wonder if the Amiga version was ported from the Atari ST. Right. Yeah, I think the Amstrad version wasn't that good. Uh, Commodore 64. I can't. I don't think they were very good games. I think this is more famous on the 16-bit systems, done by the Bitmap Brothers. They done some good games like Speedball, Speedball 2. Did they do Chaos Engine? Did they do that or didn't they? I, I don't know. Um, right. So let's see how it plays. Right. So graphics look exactly like the Amiga version. Very, very bland indeed. So is that one of the Bitmap Brothers? I never, never seen pictures of them, so could well be. Right, so we're driving this tank at first, but if you twiddle around your joystick, then you can turn into the spacecraft or whatever craft. Yeah. So you can see by the uh, from the backgrounds, you know, it is their sort of trademark in graphics. You know, they use pretty similar graphics in the speedball speedball game to the first one they did. Yeah, I'm not overly impressed with the color scheme of this game. I didn't particularly think much of it on the Amiga, to be honest with you. Right, you can't go no higher than that. So you've, very, you've got a very small, plain window. So, hmm. something about certain ST games when you're recording that the sound effects are very loud right that's annoying because I didn't want to turn into the tank but okay as I'm here you can tell by the way those doors are they you know I think they use that to go you um, use it for speedball the first one at least Oh, I need to turn into the plane or the, the flying thing. <laughs> there it is. You can't. Ah, oh. right. So this, this, excuse me. This is where I'm going to be facing up to the boss. So it'll automatically turn into the tank. And I can't. I can't. I, I don't think I could get past this on any of the versions I've reviewed. But then again, it was a while ago when I reviewed it on the other systems. Ah, oh, fuck it. And that's going to turn, put you back a little bit. Don't know why it can't just put you back where the boss is. No, it puts you back a little. So it is checkpoint based. Now. I don't know, because the Amiga version, yeah, that was pretty smooth and all, so I don't know, oh fuck it, if this got ported to the Amiga or vice versa. I reckon this got ported to the Amiga, like most Amiga games, like ST games did, get ported to the Amiga, well not most. I don't think it was, I don't think it ever went the other way round. Who did it? I don't know. I don't know. Did anyone else rave about this game? It was, I think it was 88, was it? Did this come out in 88? I don't know anything about 16-bit. I Back then, about, you know, 88. 
I mean, I never even played on an ST or an Amiga at this point. I was too. I was only familiar with 8-bit technology in back in '88. Actually, it took me ages to get into 16-bit te technology. It was the '90s that I discovered. Well, I didn't discover it. I owned my first Amiga in 1992. But I never read this back in the day. Or the second one, because there was a Xenon 2 as well. Now, this is going to take a numerous amount of hits. Whoa! Oh! Oh, come on! So when it flashes, you know you. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, fuck off! Game over. Yeah, I'm just not thinking much of this game, to be honest with you. I mean, the backgrounds. It's just not a lot of colour to it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sometimes you can accidentally um, swap. Oh, I need to be a tank to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, let's try and be the tank. She can get the power. Oh, that's a speed up. So probably better off being in the tank. You know, get the ground attacks, get the power ups. It definitely seems slow when you're flying. Is that a power up? Yeah. Another power up. Oh, for fuck's sake! Should be stay as a tank. All right, power up. That's a speed up. The yeah, music sounds all right. Yeah, it might as well be the tank, because you're faster in the, t in the tank, or whatever it is. I didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, fuck off. I didn't want to fucking change into the poxy bleeding plane. Fuck it. Yeah. Zedon on the ST. I didn't think much of it. Then again, I didn't think much of it on the Amiga either. I don't think I think one good. I don't think it was that good on the CPC. It was a bit slow and sluggish. I can't remember what I thought were the other, like the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum versions. I have reviewed them, but I can't remember what I thought of them. Um, but, I mean, it moves nicely on the ST. I'll give it that, but it's just I don't. I just didn't really enjoy it that much. The colour, colours look a bit bland. Um, I'm sure the ST could have had better colours than this. It's just too grey, I know it's supposed to be metallic and something like that, but I just don't know. I think I would have liked to see more colours on the, you know, being a 16-bit game, you know, expect it to be better. But then I think it was an early title. I'm, I'm guessing 1988, um, but I don't know. I, I just didn't enjoy it, to be honest with you. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.